Please, you do not want to do this. L I, I, L I, I this. Oh. You can't win this, Leofrin. <laughs> Even if you defeat me, the Rasmussens have won the day. I have fought many a day in my time. I'm still standing. Slowing. Bah! You are strong will pain. Urquid was lucky. To start in the way of you and Mercia is my duty. I will die before I yield. You cannot win! Appeal to your god or your king. I swore an oath to serve Borgrid to the death. I fought. I lost. We both know how this goes. An honorable thane fighting a dishonorable war. Borgrid abandoned him, betrayed his trust. If I were Leofrid, I would want to know. Why rob him of this last glory? A warrior ready to meet his god and bask in his praise. To live will only lead him to shame. It's not an oath he would keep if he knew the truth. Then choose. Truth or glory. You fought well, Leofrin. With honor. You will go to your god as you are now. I am ready. We Norse have a name for men and women with courage like yours. Drenge. I name you one now. He didn't deserve this. He chose this. Come. We should get back. Careful. You're injured. I'm all right, really. A few nicks and cuts from the battle, that's all. These wounds will heal quickly. You're lucky. I threw myself at him, Abel. But he only toyed with me. He knew I couldn't touch him. You should have stayed hidden. Jailbird, this wasn't your fight. It was. It was our fight. Yours, mine, my father's. I had to help. And you did. You showed courage today. Bravery. You are a boy no longer. Back there with Leofrith. Why did you see it fit to kill him? Leofrith was a fighter who knew the cost of war. He died defending an idea he believed in. True or not. There's some honor in that. I... I think I understand.
little birds. Look at you! Bloody and battle-worn. Could be chieftain of your own clan with courage like that. No less than the King of Mercia, brother. One of these days. And how is my father taking to his new role? See for yourself. You're an Otlinger now. Or Athling, I think you'd say. Next in line for the throne. It's an honorable title. One that demands good judgment. Be careful who you trust. My son. Are you well? Yes, father. Well enough. He honored you today. Fought bravely against many stalwart foes. You have my thanks. All of you. And my blessing. We knew what this alliance might cost us. But it's over now, and everyone has gained something. Silver, honor, allies. Agreed. Today we turn a new page. All of England must know. The Kingdom of Mercia has a new king. The remaining kingdoms of England won't respect your path to power. Nor will many in my kingdom. Burgred's soldiers will stand tall in the face of this turmoil, all across Mercia, against us. That we shall remedy soon enough. I am riding for Oxenifordshire directly, to forge an alliance with some thanes there. Shall I go with you? Not till I know more. Linger here a while if you can. Strengthen our friendships. I will send for you soon enough. Sigurd, I would feel better if Chaelbert was... Away from here until Mercia is more stable. Would you welcome him among your clan? Hmm. Do you have a horse, young Aveling? I do. A young steed called Theobald. Good. I can ride with you as far as the river Nene. You may find your way from there. Thank you, Sigurd. This puts my mind at ease. Be ready for my call, Eivor. It will come. You and Sigurd make a good pair. The future of England will be pagan from top to bottom. Take this, Wolfkist, as a sign of friendship. I should you call, the brothers Ragnarsson will come. You honor me, Uba. See that? Sly bastard trying to win your heart. Well... Two can play at that game. How kind of you, Ivar. My pleasure. Our friendship is the best thing to come from this mess. Maybe Chelbert too, the brave little twig. That is good to hear. Seems the wind calls me back to Ranji. Let's tell her the good news.
What have you got for me today? All my pieces are good, but that one's very good. Ah, look at how powerful. I do good work, I must say. I must be on my way now. Goodbye. Until next we meet. would like to see what you have in stock. Perfect. I'll happily take this. Only a fool would pass this up. There's always more where that came from. You know you have use for this. You won't regret this purchase. Only a true warrior can pull that off. Imported this with you in mind. Is that everything? I will see you later, friend. Always a pleasure, Eivor. Fortified? I... Ah, glad to see you made it, Chelbat. Thanks to Sigurd. He was a good guide and even better company. He told me some incredible stories. The best ones were about you. Hopefully nothing too embarrassing. There were a few gems. 
Not to interrupt, Davor, but what of Lady Chestershire? The Alliance is one. The sons of Ragnar are friends to our clan. Glad to hear it. Well done to you both. Eivor, a word of note. Someone has set up shop outside. A trader, I believe. When you can, ask him his business here. He seems to represent a larger guild. The child's eyes, or the eyeless children? Eyeless children? No, that cannot be right. Ask him yourself. been long in England, have you? I see by this map you have barely some rival. I wonder if Volker is among them. Wessex untouched? Northumbria barren? You still have much to see. Yes, it is a work in progress. Word of our growing settlement has reached outside ears, so have a look around. You may see a few new faces. I want to see the Alliance map. Tell me about Grandebritshire. A force of Danes, called a summer army by the Saxons, is camped north of Grandebridge at some ruins across the river. We should curry favor with their leaders, Guthrum and Soma, if we hope to win their trust and allegiance. My scouts did not meet them in person, so I can say little for the state of their army. Consider this a starting point. I will leave right away. Good. And may the blessings of Freya follow. Rest assured, Eivor, the settlement is in safe hands. Good day. A new customer. Whether I am or not, I am the one you'll speak with. Randry tells me you are merchants. Ah, hello, hello. Are you the leader of this bustling encampment? We come on behalf of a thousand eyes, vendors of uncommon goods and exotic treasures from all corners of the world. 
If you need it, we have it. If we don't have it, you don't need it. Such is our pledge. I see. And is this child with you? Child? Child. My friend, you look upon the master of the thousand eyes, the head of our guild, a legend, a hero of the people, and the richest merchant west of the Indus, you look upon Redda! He means you? He does, Eivor Wolfkist. It is a pleasure to meet you at last. How have you come to know me? The Thousand Eyes have one thousand years as well, and word travels fast. And what is it I can do for you, or you for me? It's quite simple. For a fee, I can connect you to a shadow market that stretches from the dunes of Egypt to the moors of England. What sort of fee? It varies with the item, but there is a small hitch. Through this market, all prices are paid in opal. Interesting. What a strange color it has. May I hold it? You may hold it and keep it, Eivor. A gift from Reda for your immeasurable hospitality. Now look here. Browse what wares I have on offer. Nothing for now? No matter. My selection changes daily. You will soon find something you like. Now that you are friends with me, you are also a friend of the Thousand Eyes as well. And what does this mean? Observe my outfit, note the scarf I wear. As you travel, you will meet many of my associates clad in these same vestments. These are my people, my other eyes. Seek them out for trade or contracts. Oblige them, and you will earn a tidy sum. And I might even feel inclined to reward you myself. An interesting offer. Good to hear. Now, if you'll excuse us, my apprentice has a tent to secure. You're staying for a while, I suppose. Oh, yes, and you needn't even thank me. We would be honored to call this our home. Good day. It's a delight to see you, Eivor. <laughs> Eivor, what a pleasure to see you. Oh dear. It feels like it's been so long. Valka, my friend. You're most welcome here. Are you well? Better than well. I am present. And your mother? My mother has found her peace at last. She walks through a world seen only in dreams and will forevermore. That is all any of us can hope for. Indeed. Come. How was your passage? Exhilarating. The waves and the wind were with us from the start. We flew like seabirds. And how are you? In spite of your stoic look, there is a brightness in your eyes that warms me. It may be a kind of hope. A settlement is growing. The people are happy and I am looking forward to more. And your visions? They come and go. But leave all that aside. Let me help you with your things. This way. We found a fine spot for you at the foot of the hill. Hmm. Every hour we traveled, I tried to conjure in my mind some vision of this place. And how close were you? I saw the trees, and the water, and the rolling hill. But I could not foresee so much green. It is a magnificent and calming color. 
a balm for sea salted ice. Volka! Godzapo! What brings you? Hope there isn't a curse on the settlement or some such. <laughs> the only curse on this place is their great lout of a blacksmith. It is a rare feeling to travel across the sea and still find oneself at home. This place feels powerful, alive. Do you foresee great things for us? No need for foresight. I feel it in my heart. Is that Valka I see? What took you so long to follow? Wanted to ensure the place was up to snuff. We must talk again soon, Randvi, once I'm settled. And before my arms fall off, what is this I'm carrying? My heaviest reagents, of course. Lead, whalebone, flax of gold. Put this one to honest work. That is what I like to see. All these people you have brought here. This life you have built on these stranger shores. Does it please you? It does. To know that I've built this place and kept these people safe is a gift. You speak first of yourself when I ask this question. Which says more than you intend, I think. Salve, Eivor. Ad Meliora. Good day. And who is that fellow? I have no idea. Well, the town must be bustling. You see there? Your home is just ahead. Tell me about your visions. They are as they have always been. Little has changed, save their clarity. With every return, the things I see feel less like dreams and more like memories. And does the All Father still appear before you? From time to time, yes. He speaks to me as well, but... It feels mad to say such things aloud. I understand. You can put those just there, thank you. And here we are. Lovely, just as you promised. As soon as I am set up here, we can return to the matter of your visions. Valka, please. You are touched, Eivor. A conduit for godly tidings. Please, let me help. I may know a way to clarify these visions. An elixir that may open the door of your mind into the realm of the gods. If you think it would help, I can finish your home myself. Only give me some time. I would be grateful. Thank you, Eivor. Of course. And... welcome home. Newt, what are you doing in here? Uh, Eivor, we need your help. Who is we? Sylvie and Ira are in trouble. We went into the woods and... and... there's no time to explain. You need to come with me. Are they all right? No, they're hurt. And badly. Take me to them.
Where are they? Not far. We need to hurry. What happened? Are they still in danger? Not if we get there soon. Which way now? This way. We're almost there. You have to tell me what has happened. I can't. You won't understand. Even if I do, just, just trust me. What is this about? Sorry, A4. We had to trick you. But it wasn't my idea. It was Iris. Lying is not a good way to get my attention, children. But we found a dog that needs your help. She's caught in a trap down there. We thought you wouldn't come if you knew it was just a dog. Oh. That is not the sound of a dog, Ira. That is a wolf. But a wolf is a kind of dog, yes? My mother told me that. Of course, it's a kind of a dog. Listen to that sound. Awoo! Pure dog. Eivor, if you won't help us free her, we must do it ourselves. There's no need. Let me see what I can do. We must help her. She could be starving. Poor her. She's crying. We have to help. Her family probably misses her. to the front door. I must be cautious opening it. the children. These skulls bear teeth marks. The wolf must have helped him take them down. The man liked his trophies. At least he leaves that legacy. You see... Easy. Wait, wait, easy now! Deceived by children and shouting at wolves. I was a warrior once.
table is set. He never made it home. At least his end came quickly. Are you all right? Did you see the wolf? Yes, you freed her. You're amazing, Eivor. But she ran away and didn't even say thank you. She's going back to her family, maybe. Her mom and dad were probably very scared. Or her wolf husband. Maybe her wife. We don't know. But we do know it is time to get you three back to the settlement. Before your parents think you were eaten by wolves. Oh, all right. Chin up, Knut. You were very brave today. All of you. In future, you should not be exploring the woods alone, you understand? But you go off on your own all the time. Because I am very wise, and you have a lot to learn. Yes, but there are three of us. That balances everything. That is not quite how it works. like that at all. We should name her... Mouse. That makes no sense. I think we should call her... Chewy. Because she chews things. What do you think, Eivor? Da Wolfka. It has an absurd sound, just like all of this. She's our best friend. Now we need to get home. All five of us. Fine. We only wanted to have an adventure like you, Eivor. And we did! And we got a new friend! Part of adventuring is learning a good lesson. Did you know that? Yes, the boring part. Have you children learned anything about wild animals today? Hmm. Maybe. Yes. Befriend them at any cost. They are perfect companions and very kind. My mother always told me to avoid wild animals. Shows what she knows. How about we think quietly on what we have learned? Just until we get home? I think she's quite fond of you. I know she is. We saved her. She'd be rotting away by now. Just like that boar you killed, Eivor. You saw that? We see everything. Let's not tell your parents, all right? Now scamper off home and take your new friend with you.
Tarbin. Such a joy to see you, Eivor. Apologies, but I must go. I only wanted to say a quick greeting. While you were away, your Jomsvikingar helped to serve other Jarls. Here is the tribute they earned. I would like to reorganize the crew. Good for now? I have to go. See you soon. <laughs> <laughs> 